वीडियो इन टूडेज वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू इंटीग्रेट सॉकेट आईओ फॉर रियल टाइम कम्युनिकेशन इन अ नेटिव मैक ओएस ऐप विद स्विफ्ट सो फर्स्टली वी विल बी मेकिंग यूज ऑफ दिस पैकेज सॉकेट आईओ क्लाइंट स्विफ्ट एंड वी विल बी मेकिंग यूज ऑफ अ नोड जे एस बैक एंड एंड आई हैव ऑल्सो क्रिएटेड अ रियक जे एस ऐप जस्ट सो दैट आई कैन शो यू ओके द रियल टाइम कम्युनिकेशन इज हैपनिंग सो द मैसेज विच यू सी कनेक्टेड टू सर्वर इज फ्रॉम अवर बैक एंड एज सोन एज आई एम कनेक्टेड टू अवर सॉकेट आई क्लाइंट एंड हियर यू कैन सी दैट आई वॉज ऑल्सो आई एम आई हैव ऑल्सो माई डेस्कटॉप ऐप एंड विच इज ऑल्सो कनेक्टेड टू सॉकेट आई क्लाइंट आई जस्ट इरेज्ड आउट दैट मैसेज बट या आई जस्ट क्विकली शो यू सो सपोज इफ आई टाइप समथिंग ओवर हियर लाइक हाई फ्रॉम मैक ओ एस and if i click on click me uh, here you can see uh, this message was sent to node js then node js broadcasts that message to everyone every client uh, who is connected via socket io so my mac os client is connected i am not using a table view if you want you can use a table view as well to show the list of all messages but if you go to my web app here you can see hi from mac os as well now i will send some message from my web app as well hi from web and if i click on submit that message you should be able to see over here as well again you can if you want you can use a table view to display a list of all the messages but i have tried to keep it simple now uh, firstly uh, i will what i'll do is uh, i'll just um, create i'll just show you my node js backend uh, so here inside package.json i have just taken express as well as socket io next and do an npm install to install all the dependency then inside index.js i have taken uh, created a uh, object for express socket io as well as http then i have initialized express then this is boilerplate code for express for url encoding as well as json then here i have created our uh, server using http then from that i am initializing socket io and i have set the origin as star so that everyone can access it then this is normal course handling if you are trying to keep like trying to create an api endpoint as well and here i have one simple api endpoint even though i am not using it uh, just for uh, like for your knowledge sake and again this is boilerplate code if the user tries to access an api endpoint which is not present in our express server even though we are not using it the important part is this so as soon as a client is connected this gets fired and here you can see we are emitting one message from our node.js uh, from a node.js server to all the clients which are connected so here you can see message from server this identifier sends a data of connected to server so as soon as uh, you connect to this node.js backend this may you, you will see this message now uh, suppose you send some message from our client then the node.js backend is listening for that particular message again you will have to use this identifier you can use any identifier but make sure you use consistent identifier both on client side as well as backend side and once i get that data again i am emitting it back to all the clients which are connected to our uh, node.js backend and here i am just uh, starting our server so yeah that's it now coming back to our mac os app so firstly you will have to install this uh, socket out dependency using swift package manager so here you can see uh, they have given all the details for it uh, so just uh, what you can do is uh, you can just copy paste this github url and just go file add package dependency and just paste that particular url and then click on add package i have already added it so won't add it again next uh, the easiest thing which you have to do is just go to uh, your app uh, and here you will have to uh, enable the inside app sandbox sign in and capabilities you will have to enable incoming connections as well as outgoing connections and also inside info.plist you will have to add this app transport securities i think by default this info.plist is not present so you will have to go over here go to info.plist and here you will have to add this app transport securities allow arbitrary loads yes because i'm adding this because my node.js backend is hosted locally that's why and once you run the app i think then this info.plist is created automatically but by default you will have to add the data to this info.plist next you will have to go to view controller and here as you can see i have taken a array uh, which will store list of all messages which we receive from our node.js backend and then you can use this array uh, to uh, display uh, data inside a table view next here i have created our socket uh, manager and i am listening for lo connected to localhost colon 3000 that's where my node.js backend is hosted 
then here is a variable for socket io client one for nh text field as well here i am initializing our text field adding it to our sub view similarly for button as well adding it to, as a sub view to our main view i have done some ns layout constraints for our text field and button then here we are initializing our socket manager then connecting it and here we are constantly listening for messages from the uh, back end so once we get a message if you remember i was sending the i'm not sending it as a string but i'm sending it as a json object uh that's why i i had to do a bunch of this as well like if i have to check um if uh like the data is of type string colon any then get the first data and from that i need to get the message data of first data of data and that would be in form of string and then i'm just appending this message data to our data list okay and once the button is clicked i'm just emitting message so here you can see i'm using the same identifier which i'm using it on the back end side and here you can see i'm sending it for in a form of an uh, json object uh, so here you can see i'm just uh, the key is data and the value is text field or string value so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye